Welcome to The Lift. All this week we're talking about how sometimes when we compare ourselves to others, we, we feel that we were destined for darkness. Yesterday we talked about the story of David and how God reminds us all the time that he's not concerned with our outward appearance, he's concerned with our heart. And today I want to talk about a passage that can give us some strength even when it seems everything around us and whoever we're comparing ourselves to is so much greater than we are. This passage comes from Matthew chapter 6 and it says this, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. And think about this, everything on this earth can be taken from you. Either moths or rust can destroy it or someone can just steal it. Anything that you have can be not yours in a moment. It can burn down, it can be destroyed, or something just catastrophic could happen at any moment. It won't last. So this passage says, don't store up for yourselves these treasures that are going to go away. And it says this, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. What does that mean? Like if we, if we are always trying to get more stuff here on earth, it, it's all going to go away anyway, even if it's not taken from us while we're alive here. When we die, we don't take any of it with us anyway, so it doesn't matter in the long run. But what does matter is the treasure that we've built up in heaven. And here's what the end of that passage says. It says, For wherever your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Now think about this. God chose David because David's heart was ready. David had almost nothing by worldly standards. He was the youngest. He was not going to get any inheritance. And he was a shepherd, which means he was this rejected person. And so this passage God chose David and he said, I have chosen David because David's heart is ready. David didn't have anything that this world would be proud of. But in Matthew chapter 6, it says it, that doesn't matter because moth and rust can destroy it and thieves can break in and steal it. But wherever your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And so David didn't have any treasure here on earth, but he had all kinds of treasure up in heaven. And because of that, his heart was ready because his treasure was in heaven. His heart was in heaven. Because his heart was in heaven, he was ready because God looks at your heart. Think about this, where is your treasure? Are you constantly comparing yourselves to other people? Because if you are, your treasure is here on the earth and your heart is not ready. But if you are constantly doing your best to praise God, give God glory, give God everything that you are and show everyone around you more about Him, if you're really doing that, then your treasure is in heaven. And if your treasure is in heaven, then your heart is in heaven. And if your heart's in heaven, then it's not a dark heart. It's a heart full of light. And you are ready to be chosen because God doesn't look at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. When God looks down at you, he doesn't care what you have by worldly standards. He doesn't care how big your house is, how big your paycheck is, how good looking your girlfriend or boyfriend is. He doesn't care. What God cares about is that your treasure is in heaven. Because if your treasure is in heaven, then your heart is in heaven. And if your heart's in heaven, then you're ready for whatever he has in store for you, just like David was. For God does not look at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. And the question today is, where is your heart? Is it here on earth or is it in heaven? And if it's here on earth, that is dark. But if it's up in heaven, then it's full of light and that's where it was meant to be. Our hearts were never meant to be on the earth. We weren't destined for this life. We were destined for eternity. And when we can understand that, the world gets a little bit brighter and we can know that we were not destined for darkness. This is the lift.
Hi, my name is Tyler Gellinet, and this is your workout tip of the day. Today's tips on nutrition, and if you really want to slim down to that summer bod, then you're going to want to go on a low carb diet. Low carb because carbs are your body's main source of energy. Cut those out, goes to your second main source, and that's your stored fat cells. And if you work out on top of that, then you're going to speed up that process even faster. My name is Tyler Gellinet, and this is a reminder that uh, strength is more than muscles, this is the lift.